This is like the most requested show that I get, and I have no idea why. I have no idea what it's about, but judging from the hairstyles, I'd say it's like a card playing All anime, right, or like a show about hamster- Let's get started. Ah! What the hell is that thing? Hey look, I'm no teacher, but like, detention, right? Like absolutely give these kids detentions. I got detention once for organizing a school-wide protest against our school's brand of chocolate milk. Don't ask me to elaborate. And these kids can just open fire mid-lesson? Is really nobody gonna address that this thing is an absolute night? Ah! Jesus Christ, what a cold open. This is the coldest open I've ever experienced. Chris and Monza, during the day, neat, huh? There is a yellow squid monster teaching your class right now. The crescent moon is objectively the least interesting thing happening. Oh, never mind, spoke too soon. Look at this absolute hedgehog of a man. How's a Sonic fandom not had a field day with this guy? Nakamura! Detention! I got detention once for bringing too many hermit crabs into class. And no, I won't elaborate. Will you please stop wiggling? Look alive, little man. <laughs> I'm sorry, little what? How is Nagisa not a girl? Look at those hips! Look at those insane hips! Not to mention your little pom-pom haircut. Everything I'm not. Oh my god, he is a giant squid monster. You're jealous of his confidence? Huh? <gasps> Excuse me, sir. Really? <laughs> Excuse me, sir? Come on. Excuse me, sir? Uh, this sucks. And the imagination slithering. <laughs> Was there no director in the sound booth? Yeah, no, dude, just fucking do whatever. I don't know. Wow, never mind what I said about Nagisa. This kid's fucking metal! It doesn't get any more punk rock than a live hand grenade necklace. That's a face we haven't seen before. How are you letting this thing near children unsupervised? There's nothing that says I can't harm someone else. Oh my god, there's some danging rompa shit right here. If you could sacrifice a little bit of your time, give the children the tools they need to succeed. What is this tragic backstory we're getting? Just us and Koro Sensei. Is it just me or is Nagisa like simping wicked hard for this tentacle man? The moon is all they're talking about in the States, too. Oh, uh, yeah, because you took a bite out of it. If that happened in real life, I would go years without talking about anything other than the time a yellow squid monster bit the moon. And frankly, I'd beat the hell out of anyone who tried to change the subject. Mixing what are the facts? Desires. This guy they Oh, come on, you're like not even doing a boy's voice anymore. That is just straight up a female voice actor. Not to mention, these two have the exact same hairstyle. Uh, so, hey, what's New York's chief export? <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, what natural teenage dialogue. Hey, yo, you catch me and the boys after class and we're doing three things, all right? Grabbing ass, smoking grass, and talking exports. So is this guy, like, possessed by Sukuna? Like, he's got the exact same cheekbone eyes. Either that or this dude needs to figure out how to apply his eyeliner right. If we allow that creature to live... Yep, no, totally agree. Gotta kill that thing. What the f- That is a nightmare. Why would he ever dress like that? He looks like Leatherface. He looks like he's wearing another man's skin. If you give a group of outcasts and misfits like us- God, Nagisa thinks he's so cool. We're just a group of outcasts and misfits. But didn't your mother ever teach you not to judge a book by its cover? Like, shut up. Do you even have any friends? I haven't even seen anyone acknowledge Nagisa past the point of strapping a hand grenade to his neck. I used to be. And you're not any longer? Yeah, that's what used to be means. You dip? Here to get our grades back on track. Extracurricular stuff like sports isn't allowed. Sounds suspiciously like discrimination. Sounds loosely like discrimination. Oh, well, this kid's dead. There it is. I thought I recognized that pitching style. Oh, I get it. You were testing my muscle's flexibility. But, uh, why'd you gag me? The dude can literally dodge bullets. You think rushing at him with a knife's gonna work? This is the worst tactic they've tried. Not the worst <sighs> tactic you've tried. I disagree! Why would you do something so mean? Hey, lady. Anytime you start to maybe think Kuro-sensei isn't mean, take a look at the moon. A good assassin keeps tabs on his target's weak spots. Okay, confession time. I'm unbelievably attracted to Nagisa's voice. Most classes don't have murder on the syllabus. Ugh, I get it! Look, your voice is sexy, but enough of these dumb school puns. My teaching certificate is still valid, so that's something. Hey, I don't know if you want to say, so that's something, to the guy you're trying to get hired by. Hey, Nagisa, maybe don't point the gun directly at her fucking head. Vince has a mind. Put the gun down! Human? Not human? Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Who is this hitman they're hiring? 
I've always wanted to kill me a teacher. Yes, bring on this edginess. We're human beings, you know. I, for one, think our coach should be too. Oh, easy with the racism, kid. Kids stand here like, look, I'm not saying a squid can't teach a class, but maybe we let him teach his own squid class, you know? This dude looks like a literal volcano. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Is it just me or did he just get like 30 times more attractive? Also, this guy's eyebrows are like desperately trying to escape his face. Stabbing, correct use of firearms, everything you need to succeed. Wow, well, okay. As long as there aren't any dirty squids around. This is so intense. He's terrifying but cool at the same time. I know. He wants you to hurt him, but he'll pat you on the head if you do it right. What a bunch of fucking subs. I have never seen a thirstier group of girls. It sounds like a Fifty Shades of Grey book club meeting. This dude is exuding dangerous levels of daddy dom energy. Ugh, we've got a quiz in sixth period. Right, they should just let us go home after gym. Nagisa, if you want me to take you seriously as a boy, you gotta quit being such a pick-me girl. God, you're so right, Trent. Uh, and so funny, too. No, I don't think you're racist. Squid should teach squids. Nagi? Oh, well, hello there. I never thought I'd see someone look so intimidating holding a strawberry juicy box. Feel free to call me by my first name. I don't know, this karma guy seems like a pretty nice dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a grip! Weapons and blood are his passion. Weapons and blood are his passion? What is that, his Tinder bio? So what are you passionate about? Yeah, I don't know, I've been really into weapons and blood lately. What about you? I'll show you what it's like to be assassinated. You won't want to miss it. I don't have to explain why that's a dumb line, right? If you're gonna show him what it's like to be assassinated, how could he miss it? What is he doing? I don't know, I think he's punching the wall. I fucking hope that's what he's doing. Sir, can you not do this in front of children? God, he is so fucking mean. I don't even care that he tried to shoot Kuro-sensei in the face. You don't smush another man's gelato into his shirt. You're calling Nagi so gross? You look like an actual pterodactyl. Uh, hey. Yeah, hey, Nagisa. Is it cool if I pick your brain for a sec? So, like, these two were fucking, right? Yeah? Why the long faces? Has something... Whoa! Whoa! What is this godfather nonsense? No worries, I don't plan on killing you physically yet. It's more fun to watch your spirit die first. All right, take it easy, Bane. Now, I know- Come on, baby, what you cooking up in there? You little- <laughs> you little psycho? I had time on my hands. Hope you don't mind if I prettified yours. Okay, but don't act like you don't look fresh. What is Karma getting upset about? He's getting the makeover of a lifetime. Oh my god, Karma is objectively the best character. I would kill to be this edgy. So, I can kill you. Yes. Yes, he's so edgy. Yes! But, sir, he- Oh boy, now here comes his tragic backstory. Look at the show trying to get all serious. Damn, I'm totally gonna die. Okay. All right, I get it. The show's serious. You, uh, you can stop now. All right, this is getting a little intense, guys. Jesus, where did that come from? That got so dark. This is such a happy and bright show. I don't want to feel anything. I can't wait to see how we try to kill our teacher tomorrow. Shut up, you fucking pick me, girl. Oh, hey there, big teach. Long time no see. Oh, God, here we go. Please, I don't have time for this. My students are expecting me. So you're a teacher, are you? What would you say to a little private tutoring to help get our grades Allow up? me to tutor you gentlemen on how to flirt with a lady. <laughs> wow, that's how you treat a couple of graduate students trying to get a leg up on their up coming exams? God, some teacher- Oh wait, were they about to assault- She totally has a thing for Koro-sensei. I mean, she seems nice, so I guess it's kind of cute, right? Mm-hmm. Nagisa's seething with jealousy right now. Don't fall for it, she's trouble! No woman in her right mind would be into you. Look, you kids may be a little young to understand this, but there are plenty of reasons why a woman would be into a giant, super-fast tentacle monster. For one, I'm sure he's great at juggling. I know deep cover is your specialty, but... This time, you'll actually have to teach. No wonder E-Class is a bunch of losers. None of the people teaching them are actual teachers. Like, yeah, she's a good assassin, but I bet she doesn't know dick about Machiavelli. When he is around, call me Miss Yelovich. Huh. So what's your game, Miss uh, Yelovich? Uh, no oh, get fucked! Zing, bitch! Karma strikes again! Speaking of which, you're Nagisa Shiota, right? Oh my god, what are you doing? Stop! Whoa! Whoa! That is a child, ma'am! More like Miss Petovich! Grab your special little notebook. Meet me in the faculty lounge in 10 minutes. Yeah, joke's on her. Unless you're eight feet tall, covered in tentacles, and yellow, I don't think you're Nagisa's type. A couple of us have gotten a- This is horrible. I know this is meant to be, like, cute and funny, but, like, 
Maggie says a 16-year-old being cornered by a teacher trying to seduce information out of them. What a... What a horrible faculty they've assembled. Miss Yellow Bitch, man, are you gonna teach us or what? Yeah. See, these kids want to learn. Nobody wants to teach them, though. Ella, V, bitch, bite your lower lip and hum. Oh, why'd I do it? Oh, Koro Sensei, I just can't stand it. Why was this woman brought in to teach children? What are her qualifications? Does she know math? Is she good at science? Because all I'm seeing right now is a whole lot of ass and thighs. Oh my god, is she not using Kuro-sensei rounds? How did nobody tell her that live rounds don't work on Kuro-sensei? How, how am I frustrated? Like, I know that there's like 40 more episodes of this show, and yet I'm pissed nobody ever kills him. Oh god, oh no, oh jeez, oh my god, stop here right now! The government dossier on me mentioned that my preferred method of retaliation is grooming. Also, the government had a dossier on him that said his preferred method of retaliation is grooming, and they still let him into a school full of children? <gasps> well, there goes my monetization. Thanks, guys. Real cool of you to recommend this one. I really want to know what he's doing to her in there. What's yeah, because you're a sick fuck, Connie. And he still had time to do this thing with his tentacles. You guys led me into a fucking trap, you know that? The first four episodes were light and happy and not sexual, and now my whole ass channel is about to get taken down because of this show. Even if the Earth wasn't on the brink of destruction, entrance exams are for students with a future. Somebody teach these kids! They want to learn! They're begging to be taught! He's dangerous, contradictory, and a damn near perfect teacher. Yeah, but the bar's pretty low, though, right? All right, cool. At least she's gonna start trying to teach now. Read it aloud. Okay, bad start. Whoa. A giant squid monster. Oh, oh, repeat. A giant squid monster just removed some red dye from a piece of rope. And the rope is what impressed you? Poison, sir. Would you drink it, please? You know what? I like this girl's style. She's an upfront, stand-up kind of gal, and I can appreciate that. I'm not very good at being sneaky. I mean, everyone else is so good at this stuff. I mean, to be fair, you've killed just as many squid monsters as anyone else in this class. Don't mind if I do, then. <laughs> All right, solid technique. He drank it. Respect. Listen, people underestimate the power of just asking nicely. Sometimes all it takes is a sir, do you mind killing yourself to get a guy to kill himself? <laughs> I know that's pretty much all it'd take for me. Hey. Somebody fucking shoot him. Even if these poisons aren't working, he seems pretty distracted. I just pop him in the head. Might get some good notes out of it, at least. Nagisa is such a fake protagonist. What do you contribute to the plot aside from taking notes and having a voice that turns me on? Okie dokie. We're ready to add it to the ethanol, I think. Woo! Let's give it up for ethanol, baby! I don't know. <laughs> There's not a ton to talk about in this episode. It's pretty slow. At least with math and science, there's always a right answer. Everything's spelled out for you. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense? The second math stopped using numbers and switched over to letters is when that shit stopped making sense. Do I act like it's concise and straightforward? You know imaginary numbers exist? <laughs> Can you tell I'm a filmmaker who hasn't had to take a math class in years? He even drew a manga of the safety guidelines for proper use and storage. I'm impressed. Going the extra mile yet again. God, Nagisa's always looking for an excuse to suck Kuro-sensei's tentacles, isn't he? I'm good at chemistry, not words. Yeah, we know. It's like all you fucking talk about. <laughs> Who talks like that? I'm good at chemistry, not words. In fact, piecing together this sentence was a struggle in and of its own. Here it is, sir, just like you asked. I was going to write you a poem, but I'm good at chemistry, not words. <laughs> oh my god, he tricked her! Oh, you treacherous bitch! Oh my god, what's happening?! What is happening? This poor girl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh, double never mind. In liquid form, I fit comfortably into the tightest nooks and crannies. Oh, uh, don't talk to this girl about getting into her nooks and crannies. Fair. Verbal deception is a vital part of the successful assassin's toolkit. Oh, he was teaching her to be good at words, not chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> Nice move, Teach. Turn the tables, huh? No kidding. We we get it, you're cool. Every time Karma opens his mouth now, all I hear is, <laughs> Hey guys, I'm still here, remember? Is that Kunadon? Hello! It's me, Kunadon! Why am I being screamed at? Don't get too comfortable. 
No. Let E-Class <laughs> remind us of the perils in that. Why do you guys even keep these students in your school if you hate them so much? Where are all of your parents? Where are the angry letters coming to the school? Hey, Mom, my entire school faculty's been bullying me. You think you could help out a little? Shoot them an email or something? I don't know. Why isn't Karma here? Because he's ditching. Yo, Nagisa is so hot for Karma. Are you kidding me? Did you see that little smirk? God, Karma's so fucking cool. I bet he doesn't even know my name. I bet he'd spit in my mouth if I looked at him the wrong way. Whoa! Who's the boobalicious foreign looking chick? <laughs> who's the bodacious babe with the buxom rack? Five minutes ago, she was down in all fours, but damn, look at her working. Five minutes ago, she was what? Oh, okay, I get it now. Thought this kid had some major game for a second. Buddy. <laughs> Meow, said nobody ever. Oof, suck a chode, nerds! Give me some intel. You're still keeping a record of all the ooey gooey bastards' vulnerable points, right? Ma'am, please do not seduce this child in the middle of this assembly. It has been recently brought to my attention by most of the comments in my previous videos that Nagisa is in fact 14 years old. Stop it, Professor Bitch! I can't breathe through your enormous tata! I do love that Nagisa isn't into it. Nagisa's little heart only has room for one man, and that man's name is Karma, and also a squid, and that squid's name is Kuro Sensei. Uh, excuse me, sir. E-Class didn't get the handouts. Oh. Wow, really? Guess E-Class will just have to memorize it off their neighbors. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's really that funny. It sounds more like a printing error, really. You know how you can tell that Nagisa's the main character? Because he's got twice as many irises as the dude standing behind him. You proud of yourselves? Acting like you're having the time of your lives? Laughing during assembly? Not cool. E-Class was the only class not laughing during that assembly. What the hell are you talking about? Hey, watch it with that look. What look? Nagisa's getting bullied right now just for existing, when he should be getting bullied for his dumb hair. You're really gonna kill me? <laughs> like you've got the balls to try. Oh shit! What a badass! Kiss my cotton candy blue pom-pom haired ass, mother- Give me a break, man! Naruto's not even on the chest! Okay. I have a billion questions. Does he mean Naruto the show? Does this take place in the Naruto universe decades later and he's teaching them history? You can't just have your anime character show up in a Naruto headband and not have me wildly confused. Is he just prepping to destroy the earth or what? You know what I just realized? What's the point of him teaching these kids if he just plans on destroying the world? Like, why are they studying so hard? To get into college? News flash! There's no college in hell! There is high school, though. So you could tell this guy's a side character because he only has one set of irises. Not like my little pro-tag boy Nagisa over here. Then again, this guy doesn't have any. What becomes of my school if Koro sensei is assassinated? Wow, this guy's handling this existential, world-ending crisis incredibly well. Really tackling it with a rational head. Seems a student of yours glared threateningly at two of- Oh, come on, that looks nothing like Nagisa. Where are the rest of his irises? Nagisa, you're really making me look like a liar here. Such that the upperclassmen feared for their lives. To be fair, Nagisa, you did literally threaten their lives. Full higher up. Holy shit. Never thought I'd find a high school principal so badass. I know this is, like, barely worth bringing up at all, but look at Nagisa's weird hybrid mechanic. Mechanical pencil. It's like a mechanical pencil disguised as a wooden one. It's like the Prius of pencils. Thank you. I'll never try to kill you again. Oh, sir. <laughs> Please, I need help with my grades too. What the hell was up with that last part of your fantasy? Okay, cool. Definitely don't like you thinking about your students that way, considering they're like 13. I feel like once per episode, I have to just re-bring up the fact that this is a horrible faculty. What's this deal making us all stand out here like a bunch of goobers? This is embarrassing, man. I feel like a fucking goob out here. The personal setbacks that landed each of you here are difficult to fix. So why are most of these kids here anyway? Like, is it just bad grades? Like, yeah, Karma's a psychopath and Nagi says also a psychopath, but everyone else here seems pretty well adjusted for being a bunch of outcasts. If you have a point, sir, I think we're missing it. Listen to- Oh Christ, look what you did. You got him spinning. I am a superior life form capable of destroying the Earth. As well as laying astroturf. Hey, who remembers what I said about math in the last episode? Look at this shit. You know it's bad when I can't tell the math from the Japanese. <laughs> Still think math is simple and straightforward, Monami? I've certainly taught them that. Oh god, it's finally happening. This is the episode, isn't it? This is the episode that demonetizes my channel. I knew it was coming, I knew it'd be this show. Voila! A trivial adversary indeed.
Now use that trusty blade to fillet it. Take the problem one part at a time. That's the trick. God, I feel like I'm watching an anime cyber chase. Hey, where are my cyber chase fans at? This question is dead meat. Nagisa talks like the worst kind of anime fan. Can you imagine taking an exam and the kid next to you is just mumbling? This question is dead meat. I'm gonna slaughter this question. This question just made it personal. Number 18, you're not getting out of here alive. Now I just show my work and you're finished. In all fairness though, this is probably the coolest they could have made a scene about a bunch of kids taking a math test. You see, this is where I belong. Normal class has nothing on assassination. Karma's whole energy is so confusing. He's like an edgy teacher's pet. Nice, Karma. You gave your teacher a sense of purpose and self-worth. Real badass. I cannot say that I approve. Then why are you dressed like that? Geisha, really? It's actually kind of hot. What? What the hell are you into? Also, Nagisa's gonna kick your ass if you don't cool it with that shit. I get it. We're all very open in this class. You know, it's a safe space. This space is getting a little too safe for my liking. Also, wasn't this the same kid that said, I really want to know what he's doing to her in there. What? Yeah, because you're a sick fuck, Connie. Somebody's gotta look into this guy. Out of town? Let's just say, I know how to keep witnesses from reporting it. Oh, great. And now he's part of our group. Way to go. Eh, what? <laughs> look, Nagus is just like, yeah, what that tail do, though? No sweat. I foresaw this and took the liberty of enlisting someone very special. Ladies and gentlemen, class idol Kanzaki. This is literally the least special looking person I've ever seen. You're all so cute. Excited to walk the city streets, boys and girls. Ah, so young and naive. Yeah, well, you can just stay here, Professor Bitch. Mm -hmm. You can water the plants while we're gone. God, these kids are ruthless. That's where you're from, right, Miss Yellow Bitch? The streets? Just put her right in her place and then moved on with their conversation. Everyone oh. having a glamour. You stick out like a sore thumb. Go change. You're a chaperone, not a runway model. Shut up. Get changed now. <sighs> hey, Koro Sensei, mm -hmm. try these. <laughs> Can't have your nose going AWOL all the time, right? Custom carved to complement the contours of your face. You're welcome. It's whatever, just a little hobby of mine, no big. Whoa, that's cool, Suga, yeah? <laughs> no, it isn't. First off, shut up. What the f- Are you kidding me? That was the worst humble brag I've ever witnessed. Nobody asked you for like 80% of that information. Look at him flipping his butterfly knife. Do not let this guy get away with thinking that was cool. Just a hobby of yours. What's your hobby? Carving noses? You're not quirky and charming. You're obnoxious and weird. He's like that kid who brings a yo-yo to class every day and is clearly trying way too hard to make it his thing without anyone noticing. And you're just like, hey man, nice yo. Yo -yo. Oh, you mean my yo-yo? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I said yo-yo. Yeah, I don't know. I just picked it up one day and it felt right, you know? It's not really a thing that happens to people, but I guess it's just my passion or whatever. Not really a big deal, though. Yeah, I agree. It's really not. One day I know I'll make my father proud with it. I think yo-yoing might not be the best method to achieve that goal. Second, contours of what face? Kuro-sensei literally could not be any more contourless if he was a goddamn bubble. I don't know what we'll learn about each other on this trip, but I'm ready to be surprised. So far, all we learned was that that guy sucks. Come on, her. She don't look smart. You're one to talk? Dude, you've got like six teeth in your mouth. Those jerks from Kanuki Gauka are really gonna try to squeeze all this sightseeing into one day? Yeah, what a bunch of assholes, huh? How dare they try to enjoy their field trip through proper planning. Not to be that guy, but I gotta tell you, I was sort of hoping we could put the whole assassination thing on hold while we were here. What do any of these sites have to do with assassination? How about the fact that none of these sites will be here in a year unless you murder your fucking teacher? Huh, Terry, does that answer your question? I never thought of it that way. Guess you could say we're on an assassination vacation. Guess you could say you're all gonna fucking die in a year, Terry! It's also a great spot for kidnappers to plan their trade. <laughs> their trade? Don't talk about being a kidnapper like it's a career path, dude. But something tells me you gentlemen aren't tourists. Don't try to be a hero, Karata. His hair is objectively not orange. Oh, the face grab! Hell yeah, Karma's such- Oh, another face grab! They crawled out of the shadows like monsters. Only these thugs are something far worse than monsters. They're high schoolers. Ugh, just knock him out. Nagisa deserves it for that one. Cause I'm the type who likes to handle these things personally, if you know what I mean. Karma, you have barely handled a thing personally since you've arrived in this show. All you've done is get your ass handed to you. I gave our buddies a call and they're in. 
We're gonna have ourselves a little commemorative photo shoot with you gals. Feel free to scream. No one will hear you except us. Um, what? This, uh, this guy's a little dark, guys. <laughs> like, real fucking dark, guys. The higher you are on the ladder, the more you want to take a swan dive. <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing, sweetie. Professor Ruin is gonna take all night teaching you how to dive like a pro. Oh my god, what is happening? This show is taking so many turns, I'm surprised it's not about a goddamn cornfield maze. Not gonna lie, it's kind of comforting to know even you went through a phase. <laughs> yeah, that's super cool, but let's talk about getting out of this current phase. You know, uh, the one where we're being kidnapped? No leads on the perpetrators. Think back to any colloquialisms, accents, or linguistic quirks. Nagisa, we get it, you found them. Shut up and go save your friends. Here we are. If the perpetrators are in school uniforms, you might be dealing with a rival- Oh my god, he's still going. Nagisa, they're going to molest your friends right now! <laughs> oh my god, I never thought I would ever see Kuro-sensei in a fight scene. <laughs> I must say, you're handling this quite well. I agree. Most folks would have been traumatized by what you just experienced. I agree. I dare say the whole ordeal has empowered you. Okay, let's definitely not go that far. Let's not suggest this was a positive experience for anybody. Hey, so I know I don't usually do little end slates at the end of these smaller videos, but I just wanted to kind of thank you guys um, because this has been an awesome experience. First of all, you guys are fantastic in terms of spoilers. I read literally every comment I get on every video just because, you know, I, I like to feel like I'm watching these shows with you guys. And like, nobody has spoiled anything for me. I'm so incredibly impressed. That means so much. It makes these videos a lot more fun and, you know, I assume makes the reactions a lot better if I don't know what's happening. So yeah, I just kind of want to thank you guys. Um, I'm glad you guys are liking the content. I also want to say my workload, uh, my personal workload is kind of starting to wind down so I'll be able to start making a lot more content. But I really want to see in the comments what you guys want to see. You know, uh, I do want to start making, like, reviews. Arcane is coming out soon, the new League of Legends show, and that looks awesome. I, I would love to do a review on that if you guys want to see it. I want to do a review on the My Hero movie that just came out. Hopefully I'll have that up in a, the next few days. And yeah, just let me know what other shows you would want to see me react to or talk about if I did one simultaneously uh, while I'm doing Assassination Classroom. Do you want to see Vinland Saga, Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, Attack on Titan, whatever. Oh, also, a special announcement at... 50,000 subscribers, I will be reacting to the Skate the Infinity dub. You guys won't stop telling me to do it, and so I figure I should make it like a nice, fun little uh, benchmark uh, prize. But yeah, enough of this, I'll get back to screaming. They call me Red Eye. They call me that on account of my red eyes. My eyes are red because I'm always crying. Because they're always calling me Red Eye. Children can be so cruel. One time in the Middle East, I shot a man at 20 clicks during a sandstorm. Is... is that far? I don't know. What the hell is a click? Also, what are you sucking on? I can't tell if that's a dab pen or a dog whistle. Mr. K was serious when he said my target wasn't human. Why would he not be serious about that? Mr. K was serious when he said my target was a giant tentacle monster. What, did you think that was a metaphor? I can't hit him like this! Maybe if you weren't hitting that dab pen so much, you'd be able to hit a damn target. Booyah! Smack dab in the temple. Look, I get he's a hyper-intelligent monster threatening to destroy the planet, but like, this poor guy. This dude's just trying to enjoy a day out with his students and some dickhead keeps trying to blow his head off. This bastard makes me want to throw in the towel anyway. I've been a sniper for eight years. <laughs> I love how we're getting this dude's sob story now. Maybe I'm not cut out for sniping after all. Am I just a sniper meant for killing, meant for death? Or am I meant for something, something greater, beyond this? These hands were meant for baking. These arms were meant to hold. These bullets feel so distant. All these targets feel so cold. It's a special blend of spices from Sun and Zaka. Thank you. Appreciate it. You really shouldn't have. What in the hell? this guy think was going on? Did he think some stranger was giving him a gift? Was he expecting a spice delivery? In that case, what did Kuro Sensei do to his spice guy? Oh god, he's wiggling. Menacingly! So you knew the plan and you were just playing along for kicks? No shit he knew the plan. It's like, dude, I found a bullet in my fortune cookie in my face cleansing pad. You're not exactly subtle. Wait, what do you mean you're quitting? 
Yeah, sorry. I suddenly feel like just being a tourist for a while. Kuro Sensei really changed his whole man's outlook on life. I'm done sniping targets. It's time I start sniping my dreams. Look at the way she handles that joystick, smiling like it's no big deal. Okay, this guy's gotta calm down. I mean, who knew you'd turn out to be such a video game pro? I kept it a secret. My family's super strict. They don't approve of me wasting time on stuff like this. Hey, lady. All she asked was how do you get so good at video games? She didn't need your whole life story. No more horning in on their field trip. This is supposed to be their time. Um, I thought this was supposed to be Operation Save the Planet. Why we gotta sleep in two big dorm rooms separated by gender. <laughs> what do you mean separated by gender? Nagi's still sleeping with you guys, isn't she? Zing! What does it look like we're doing? Trying to sneak a peek. What? Wait, that's supposed to be our job! It's nobody's job. Either way, who can resist? Um, me! I could resist! Kuro-sensei is already borderline a walking penis! Why the hell would you want to see what's under his robes? And it's not creepy because we need all the intel on Kuro-sensei we can get. Can we Any sentence that starts with, and it isn't creepy because, is almost always going to be followed by something creepy. Is he a chick? What, because he's pink? Boys can be pink too, you sexist creep! And when you do, you'll have to walk by us. We may not kill you, but we'll see you naked! Alright, I'll say it. Somebody needs to get this chick laid. This girl's way too horned up over the idea of seeing her squid teacher naked. Oh, that was lame. Can we peep on a woman next time, please? You know what? Destroy the planet. These fuckers deserve it. Also, can you two bang already? I think it'd solve a lot of your problems. Which of the class shorties is your top pick? Huh? Uh, I don't really know. Huh? Me? There's nobody that I tentacle. I mean tentacle. I mean karma! Sounds like a party in here. Yeah, maybe a slumber party. But why Okura? She's a demon with chemistry. Think of all the concoctions she could brew up to enhance my shenanigans. Oh yeah, every badass is always talking about ways to enhance their shenanigans. I'll start! I have a huge crush on Mr. Kurasuma! Honey, there's no one here that doesn't have a thing for that man. Yeah, that checks out. Mr. Kurasuma's so chiseled, he looks like a human knife. Settle down. Jeez, cracking into a whole six-pack, eh, Yelovich? This is the most accurate depiction of a high school teacher this show has offered. Uh, professor bitch actually said some- Is it just me, or does this chick look exactly like Kuro-sensei's disguise? You guys still trying to kill him? Assassination doesn't have a curfew, huh? Oh, Nagisa loved that one. You know he's mentally writing that shit down. You know how our trip's mostly over, even though it feels like we just got here? I'm kind of starting to feel the same way about life. Oh, I'm sorry. Is the existential crisis finally hitting you? It's almost like I've been saying this for the past eight episodes. I want to live big, to experience everything, to be a top-notch assassin. Then kill your fucking teacher! About an awesome field trip, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Too bad we go back to normal today. You call this normal? It's always a fucking joke with you, isn't it, Nagisa? Did you get that email? The one Mr. Karasuma sent out to us last night? Something about a transfer student, right? Whoa! It's a girl? And you've already made her your background. Okay, that's wildly disturbing. Definitely don't make the new exchange student your phone background. What the fuck? Good morning, fellow students. Oh my god, she's a literal phone background. Of course the new girl's an iPod. Why wouldn't she be? The IFA is registered here as part of the foreign exchange program. Uh, yeah, it's pronounced iPhone. Zing! No fighting back, no harming her in any way. The arrangement we have concerning the student's safety still applies. That barely seems fair. She is not a kid. Also, what the hell is he gonna teach her? How to upgrade into an iPod Nano? Hey, Hot Stuff, how about you help us out? You got a vacuum cleaner in there or what? Is this guy hitting on the boombox? Fine, be all stuck up. Oh, get fucked! The boombox has standards! Program start. How much you wanna bet this thing's gonna crack open and a real girl's gonna step out at one point? I can definitely see that being some crazy shit this anime pulls. It was me. Nothing says I can't give you a hard time. Especially if you're gonna be a pain in the ass and shoot up the place every two seconds. Why bother trying to explain it to a machine? She can't understand. Why are we bullying the robot now? You've restricted my higher function, calculating probability of eliminating everyone in this room, 100%. I have just the thing for you. Additional RAM and a cache of helpful apps, all- Okay, I really don't like him ramming the exchange student in the dark after school. Top of the morning to ya! Okay, I really don't like him wiggling his tentacles in a rear compartment either. What do you mean, top of the morning to ya, you, you freak? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Hi there. <laughs> 
Wow, that night she spent with Kuro Sensei really loosened her up. Wait, that's not what I meant! Once a box of bolts, always a box of bolts. She doesn't even have free will. Dude, quit antagonizing the literal killing machine. You ask me, a 3D girl has nothing on a double D. Who the fuck are you? Your first line in the series, and that's what you go with? Okay, well, if this show's just gonna make my jokes for me, what do you guys even want me here for? Wow, you sculpted that sculpture like it was no big deal. Yeah. Oh, the kid who carves noses is gonna be pissed. Wait, this reminds me of a manga where the super AI program controls the world through, I don't know, electronic drugs? Hey, this reminds me of a manga where an AI pretends to befriend a classroom of students to gain their trust and then massacre them. Never heard of it. These additions have nothing whatsoever to do with her intended purpose. Dude, Kuro-sensei literally upgraded her from an iPod to an iPhone for free. I feel like you should at least be grateful. Okay, well, did you have to leave her turned on while you lobotomize her? Yep, I have free will, and boy, does it feel fantastic. Oh my god, is she really going to be a permanent character? I hear adding a face can boost a girl's popularity. What? Who would tell you that? Never have I been getting with a girl and been like, Man, you know, I love kissing your face face, but I really wish she had a boob face for me to kiss too. Hey guys, just want to say thank you so much for liking my videos and uh, commenting on them. I love looking in the comments and seeing what you guys think of each episode. Sorry it took so long for me to get to this one. Uh, I've been putting out some more reviews and first impressions of shows like uh, Netflix's Arcane and Cowboy Bebop. If you guys have time, I'd love for you to check them out. I think they turned out really funny and I worked really hard on them. Uh, and I'd love to make more videos like that if you guys enjoy them. And as always, keep commenting what shows you want to see me talk about. I can't always do uh, the reaction format like this. For example, my Jujutsu Kaisen video uh, has been pretty aggressively taken down. Uh, so that's why I like doing content where I can just kind of loop the trailer over it and make as many jokes as I can about the show. And as always, I will see you next time. I'm sure we all know someone who's absolute crap with small talk. <laughs> Maybe we are that person. N no. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a perfect conversationalist. Ready? Hi, miss. How's it going? I really like your boobs. I mean hair. I mean boobs. <sighs> See? Easy. Try coming at them guns blazing with an interesting observation. My god, your eyes look very boobs. I mean pretty! I mean boobs! I have better things to do than twiddle my thumbs in this dump. God, she is such a mean teacher. I wish she would just... <gasps> I was gonna say quit her job, but this works too. Lovro the Assassin, one of the most dangerous men who's ever lived, makes a killing, no pun intended. Yeah, but like, pun intended, right? Having said that, she belongs here. She is, in fact, a perfect fit for this class. I wholeheartedly disagree. Rules are simple. Whomever kills our friend Mr. Karasuma first is the winner! Ex Jesus, what a slick way to get rid of Karasuma. Head on! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, damn, Daddy Karasuma! Yo, but what those knees do, though, am I right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Even if I wasn't a relic, you'd still be out of my reach. Jesus, Karasuma let this guy live, but he murdered his self-esteem. Oh, man, she's gonna try and seduce him. Who would have guessed? It's as simple as that, huh? Why is he considering it? <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Man, this is hot. Yeah, who's the bitch now? She Who said it? Who the fuck just implied that Karasuma was a bitch? Karasuma? Oh my god, stop it. This better not work. <sighs> oh, fine. Karasuma! Don't let her kill you like that! Lives before wives, my guy! I'm a little surprised you're into comic books, Karma. It's actually not my thing. I really dig the director, though. It's his first genre film. Uh, of course Karma's a fucking film nerd. You know this guy's got a Fight Club poster hanging in his dorm. No offense, Ritsu, but what are you doing in my phone? Where else do you want her? She's a fucking app. Is Nagisa really not gonna sneak a Mach 20 some moots right now? This is your moment, dude! My tentacles can be used as earphones. Yo, definitely don't stick his gross-ass tentacle in your ear, dude. What? Am I crazy? Is this guy not disgusting? I don't know. I feel like the filmmaker copped out making the bad guy the Brother. God, Karma is such a bit. Oh my god! I finally get his name! What? Ninjas? Good. Then you can kill him. Your brother.
fucking what? Where they feel with the liquor and drink this and let the body flicker. Water drips on your tongue like honey. Everybody in the sun dress, in the sun dress, and it's sunny out.